It's another Saturday. It's another live stream Saturday. Tell me what you're up to. Yeah. Tell me what you're doing. a new chord I made. This is a do-it-yourself spiral wrap chord that I made. Put them on my AO2 Sunset Hydrates. out there, all you short gamers out there, if you're watching, <clears throat> I'm trying short game, I try to do both, I try to do long game and short game, I'm a long gamer, long, I like it long, but short is fun because short is fast, and it kind of um, challenges you. Not a short gamer like me. <laughs> if you're not a short gamer, then it can challenge your response time because it, it shortens it down. But yeah, I still kind of have the same style, even though I'm playing short game. Much love to all you new members out there that just joined, yeah? Much love to you. If you have any questions, if you have any... If you need any help in any kind of way, don't be too shy. Feel free to ask. And somebody is going to help you. Because everybody's real helpful. So, much love to new members, yeah, new members, hello Joe, and don't be afraid to stream, because we do this every Saturday, Mitch, it's Mitch, Mitch is in the house, what's up my brother from another mother, what's up, saw you into the sling fest, yeah, that look cool, they're going to do one in Texas. Bless you. Oh, bless you. My little bit sneeze. <laughs> I've been behind on so many things. I can't even begin to describe. I can't even begin to explain all the things that I'm behind on, like video-wise and content-wise for my uh, YouTube channel. And by the way, if you wanna, if you want to learn how to make these spiral wrap cords, you can go to my YouTube channel and I got a video up on how to do that. I have my AC on, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. It's like a, 
close to 100. Here, let me, let me move the... Let me move you closer to me and farther away from the AC, yeah? You can do that. So you don't get so much of the, uh, of the, of the AC noise. I can't help it. It's too damn hot. Usually I turn the AC off, you know, like when I do like a, a video that I'm planning to edit. Because I don't want to have that background noise. So... I guess that's why I've been delaying doing anything because I don't want to turn off the AC. <laughs> I have unboxings I need to finish. I just have a bunch of stuff I need to do. And I have not done anything, really. I haven't. I just haven't. I haven't. I've been working out. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. Getting that cardio going. I'm getting a little too lazy. I feel a lot more energetic now. Exercise is good. Do that. If you don't daily exercise, like do something every day, I recommend you do it because it's good for you. You don't necessarily have to eat right and stuff. Just be busy, be active, and do something every day. And that's what that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I'm getting muscles. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do the dumbbells. I got some five pounders. Yeah. I won't go. I won't go above that though. That's just too much for me. I'm a weakling. <laughs> but I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get tone. I'm trying to get my muscle tone back because I started to lose it. I'm trying to. Slim down a little bit, I'm trying to slim, slim down. I think, I think it's working. It's just taking some time. So, yeah, don't be like me. Don't be lazy. You gotta work. <laughs> wonder Woman. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, where did I put my, where did I put it? Oh. Ah, oh, I just put a clip on uh, Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm Cloudy Girl. I'm Cloudy Girl. You can follow me anywhere you want. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on all over the interwebs, just like the cloudy girl. And I just put up a clip using slingery. Cool. Mitch and his wife are doing the, they're doing the cardio? That's good. Yeah, dude, it makes me feel so much better too. I had a crazy thing happen to me. I had a crazy week. And my week was, <laughs> I don't know if you want to hear this, you want to hear a funny story? Well, I don't know if it's funny, but it is, it is what I go through. It is my life, yeah. I will share my life with you a little bit. So this, my car broke down recently. So I've been uh, bumming rides <laughs> to get to work. the sorrow of that. <laughs> so anyway, I've been putting off checking the car to find out what might be wrong with it, yeah? So so what I did was I said, okay, it's been like two weeks, so I really haven't tried to check the car, find out what might be wrong. We popped the hood, looked underneath, checked the levels, thinking maybe something's missing, maybe I'm not maintaining the car. <laughs> And sure enough, I had like a, about this much of coolant in the container. So I thought, okay, that's not good. <laughs> so we filled it up. And my bright idea, yeah, I'm thinking, okay, let's go get a diagnostic check on my car. Let's find out what might be wrong with it. But it could be something mechanical that it won't, it won't tell you. But why not? Let's give it a go. 
So we went to go check the car. We went to like uh, Advanced Auto Parts. And I had called the girl beforehand and I asked her. I was like, do y'all have that thing that checks, you know, diagnostics on your car? Now mind you, I have a 96 Geo Tracker. That's right. No, a Geo. <laughs> a Geo Tracker. <laughs> So anyway, it's not it's not a very smart car. I mean, it does have sensors on it, but it's you know it is what it is. It is what it is. So we go over there. I call her. She's like, "Yes, ma'am, we have one of those, and we will check it for free." Oh, just come on over. Yes, indeed. You know, she was talking really weird. <laughs> so okay. I'm thinking, yes, let's go, let's check it out. We go over there, I walk in, I'm like, so, you have the diagnostic thing, can you check my car? And she's like, I'm the only person here right now, and I don't know how to do it, and the only other person that can do it, he's not here, he doesn't come in till nine. <laughs> yeah, Joel cut down foods with processed sugar. You know what? I need to do that, but what happens to me is I'm, I'm addicted to soda. And I know I need to, I'm trying to cut that down and not eat as many candies. But uh, it's easier said than done. <laughs> I'm doing good with the candies, though. I, I, no more candy for me. I'm sweet enough as it is. <laughs> Anyway, we're like, okay, so we can't get to get the check here. So let's go to O'Reilly's. So we hop in the car, we go to O'Reilly's. The girl goes out and checks it, and she's like, it's misfiring. It's not telling us what might be wrong. Uh, something, something is wrong, but we don't know what it is. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, I guess. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna take it to the dealer. I'm gonna take it to AutoNation. I've taken it there before. I was, I should have just gone straight there. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so we hop back in the car, we're about to leave. Some random dude, some random dude just just drives up behind us, blocks us, and he's like, hey, are you selling your car? Hey, are you selling your car? I've been looking for one of those. Are you selling your tracker? And I'm like, no, dude. Do you know how to fix it? <laughs> oh my God, Krispy Kreme, please. I'm getting me hungry. Stop it. So I'm like, no, dude, not for sale. Not for sale. No. And then he's just like, Oh, you should take it to my shop. I have a shop. It's over at such and such. Uh, it's at this street and that street. And my mom's like, where? Where is it? <laughs> What's up, Chris? Welcome to my life. I'm telling a sad story of what happened to me this week. <laughs> and it's basically car trouble and drama. So the guy's like, okay, well... Yeah, give me your number. Give me your number. I really want a car like that. Are you sure you're not gonna sell it? Like he was relentless as guy. <laughs> and I was just like, no, dude, no, I'm not gonna sell. No, not for sale. No, it's my only car. It was the only thing I have to get around in. Like, no, <laughs> not today. <laughs> so meanwhile, I'm idling, right? We got the car idling the whole time. He won't leave. He's a little chatterbox and he will not go. And finally he leaves, right? Finally. We pull back, reverse, we go forward. We're about to pull out of the parking lot and we go into the main road. <laughs> I think he was, dude. I think he just wanted my number. <laughs> That's another story. Okay, so what do you know? The car dies. Right in the middle of the road. We didn't even make the turn. We're like turning and stop. And that's it. And I'm thinking, oh my god, no. My mom, she panics. She went straight to panic mode. She just goes straight to panic. She jumps 
out of the car, and then she's like, she's doing this number, she doesn't know what to do, she doesn't know what to do. I jump out of the car, I run to the other side, and I'm trying to push it. I'm trying to push the car, I'm trying to push it, like, like my Wonder Woman skills, right? I'm like, yes, I'm strong now, I can push the car. No. <laughs> So, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this freaked me out, okay, this totally freaked me out. Seconds later, talking seconds, people came from all around, people I didn't even know were there, people crossed the street, they came running, I think they got out of their cars, they just came from every direction, and they all started pushing the car, they're all pushing on the car, and I'm like, oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> That's amazing. Look at all these nice people. Nice people do exist and they're still around. Who knew? So my mom is out there pushing too and we're all pushing and there's nobody in the car. Nobody is in the car. <laughs> and we're pushing the car. So, okay. Somebody tells my mom or someone shouts out, get in the car. Get in the car and steer. <laughs> <laughs> oh cool, Chris is going to go live next. <clears throat> okay, so, you've all seen the challenge, right? The Kiki challenge, I think is what it's called, with Drake's challenge with his song. And everybody like jumps out of the car and they start dancing and they usually fall, you know, they get hurt. <laughs> okay, that's important, that concerns you, so pay attention. So I'm thinking, all right, this is just like the challenge. How is my mom gonna get in the car? It's going really fast. It's being pushed really fast. We've got 20 people pushing. She's running backwards, yeah? And this is what she does. And my mom, she's kind of up in age, not too bad, but I wanna say she's like in, you know, somewhere in 60s, right? I did not expect her to do this. But she did like the Matrix, dude. She really did. She jumped up in the air after running backwards really fast. She lands in the car, grabs the steering wheel, and starts to steer. Yeah? And I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm running. Picture this. I'm running this way, right? Alongside the car, watching all this happen, okay? And I'm, I'm just like, like I could not believe it. it. It was like watching a movie. <laughs> My mom's got skills. She's got ninja skills, man. It was like bullet time the way I saw it. It was just crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm add props to my mom for, for doing that. And then she was able to steer and we parked the car. And what happened was the car overheated. So we called a tow went to the dealership, right, waiting for our ride, but we don't live too far away. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna chill, eat some popcorn, they got like a popcorn machine there. <laughs> so I'm munching on some popcorn, eating some Boston beans, candies or whatever, drinking my, my uh, water, I got water bottles for free. They never call us. And we're thinking, okay, it's already going to be 11. I called in to work late. I didn't say I was going to be this late, and I didn't have my phone with me. So all that debacle, I had to use, like, a stranger's phone just to call for a tow. <laughs> and, okay, so my mom has this bright idea, and she's like, <laughs> squeezing the juice. <laughs> so my mom goes, you know what? Let's walk. Let's just walk to the house. It's really not that far. Let's walk over there. This is some Texas heat we have going on right now. I want to say it's 99. Right now it's, it's pretty close to that temperature. It hasn't been cooling off at all. At night it's in the 80s. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, let's do this. Because I feel like I've been working out, you know. I got stamina. I can do it wearing these shoes, by the way, <laughs> and they didn't have proper uh, cushion to 
to walk a far distance. I did not know this until later. So we're walking, we're walking, we're doing our thing. We got some water bottles, throwing water in the air, spritzing ourselves so we can cool down with the breeze. And everything is, everything is going pretty good, you know? We're halfway there. And I'm thinking, yeah, we're doing good. And here's where it's, where the pain sets in from not wearing proper footwear <laughs> and walking a long distance. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I start like taking blocky steps, right? <laughs> like blocky steps, like Frankenstein. <laughs> Without all the twitching, but I was just like, oh no, are we home yet? Uh, so we finally got home. And I think the heat got to me. It got to me more than my mom. She, she was really good with it. But I'm a big wimp. Well, I'll admit it. I'm a wimp. <laughs> I just could not stay. I just, I, I could not take it, dude. I could not go to work that day. So I had to call in and say, you know what, scratch that, forget it, I'll, I can't come in today. I passed out. I think it wasn't not even like 10 minutes after I got home. And But good news is, the car is in line to be worked on, so I guess they're going to fix it. The bad news is, it's probably going to cost me a lot, but the good news is, it's not going to cost as much as any car. I was thinking about getting a new car. I still kind of, I still kind of think about getting a new car, but I don't know, dude. I'm a retro girl. If you, if you've seen my, my setup, if you've seen what I'm working with, then you would know. <laughs> I'm a retro kind of girl. <laughs> Hold up. I was going to show you my phone, but I don't even know where it is. Did I lose it? No. No. Say it ain't so. <laughs> That's my phone. That's my cell phone. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with the car. I think they're gonna have to uh, figure it out. <laughs> it might be. Uh, it might be something like. Uh, I don't know. The fuel pump or <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, is it over? Dude, time check. You need to tell me. Tell me when I run out of time. I think I'm out of time. <laughs> but yeah, wish me luck that the car will work. It will be fixed very soon. I'm hoping that it will be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, wish me luck that I find my phone. This is my spare phone. But I got this is the phone that I'm that I'm working with right now. I'm a retro kind of girl. You see what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down. I'm a retro kind of girl. I'm not gonna go buy any car. Unless I really, really have to because the aliens come and take my car away and turn it into a spaceship. <laughs> oh, I'm at 24? Oh, okay. I still have some more time. I'll, I'll do like a legit uh, freestyle for you. A legit freestyle. Talk about drama, dude. Oh my god. I'm all for adventures, don't get me wrong. Adventures, I think, are cool. It's just in small doses. You can handle it in small doses. <laughs> but, oh my god. And this is the second time I have that kind of trouble with my car. So I just hope they fix it. I hope it's not a big issue. I hope something small. It could just be a sensor for all I know. It could be something like that. And if it is, yay! <laughs> I have no more energy. I have no more energy to be happy about it. I'm just like, yay! <laughs> oh good. I hope they fix it. 
I did not want to drop money on fixing my car. I wanted to drop some money on a new rollerblades so I have my eye on. I have my eye on and they and they match these. So check out the check out check out how, how shiny these are. Look at them. I'm trying to like catch the glare. They look like that. I wanna get some. <laughs> It's never the censor. Do not jinx me, Mitch. <laughs> Don't do it, but you're probably right. It's probably something major. Well, maybe not major, but mechanical. You know what I mean? I think it's like a, a, a hose has a crack or a leak or something. There's something causing the coolant to evaporate. Like that just doesn't happen. And that... Whatever's causing that is causing the car to overheat. In my expertise, what I've learned of all the car troubles that I've had. <laughs> so yeah, it could. It, I'm just, you know, I'm hoping that it's just something, something that can be fixed easily, and not, not something that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> that horizontal action going on look at that horizontal plane oh my god oh my goodness oh yeah I think that's all I got for you I'm gonna hand it over to Chris and Chris is next thank you for watching keep on streaming I'm gonna try to watch you I'll try to have my eye on you and watch you Check you later. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this off.